Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in as always. Feels a little bit self-indulgent today doing videos back to back. But anyway, as I said in my last video, Forrester has been in the garage for two weeks. So I've got products to review, car bits to review, oh, updates, new tires, all sorts of bits and bobs. Anyway, so it's filthy, it needs valeting. And we're looking at this. Auto Bright Direct Palmer Wireless. So, just pop it on here for a moment and have a little butcher's. So, it's snow foam, it's purple, it's palm violet. Smell. Anyway, so, so have a little read. I've seen some um, reviews on other valeting channels saying, you know, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's not brilliant. There's better foams out there. So, you know, I thought I'll make a quick video of what it goes on like, nonetheless. I've got it in the Canon. Um, it's a auto glim Canon. No, they say, it said to put two inches in the bottom. That's what the instructions say, but two inches seems way too much. And I will say I spilled it a little bit on the worktop because the security seal was already burst. It come out with quite some ferocity. And as always, went up the kitchen cabinets, up my arms. And uh, yes, yeah, very, very purple. Anyway, seems to have gone in the cannon, all right? I put in half the suggested amount if it doesn't come out thick enough. Um, I'll up that in a minute and uh, you know give it a shake and that'll do. Anyway, it does appear very, very concentrated. Anyway, the thing that made me interested in it, it said it's very good for warmer weather and summer washes. Well, look, here we go. Black cars are notoriously hideous to wash in the heat. So I thought, I wonder if it's because the purple shields the sun's rays <laughs> away from the paint and stops the paintwork getting so hot. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, wheels are done. Standard practice. So we're going straight in with a foam. Right, let's get the cannon, see how it goes on. Before I start foaming, not at the mouth. Uh, I meant to say, before it gets washed or gets foamed, I'm putting on citrus pre-wash. Did a review of the IK foamer in one of my previous videos. Anyway, I'm just gonna get this on just to sort of dwell and hit some of the initial dirt. Car's pretty clean, uh, pretty dirty, I should say. Oh, it's coming out, lovely bubbles. The IK foamer. As I said in my previous review, you know, no pump in the bottle, no pump in the sprayer, easy. Just get around the whole car in as long as it takes to make this. <laughs> Two minutes probably. You can see it's uh, steaming lovely because the paint works hot and this is typical of a black car. Anyway, that'll just go down start breaking up some of the dirt. Apologies for the filming. I don't have my cameraman today. Yeah, let's just get that on. And given what's happening, you know, you can see the heat rising. I'll probably get that off. Oh, sorry, get the snow foam straight on top of it. So we'll go straight in with that. Anyway, that's all ready to go. So we'll see immediately how this is looking we set to maximum i may adjust that but let's see okay i'm just going to take that off sorry put it onto a fan My immediate opinion is they weren't wrong about it smelling nice it smells delicious I always like to go around make sure the cars at least covered 
and then then I'll go in for a second layer. could go thicker maybe just a tad thicker but this is you know I like it like this you know I don't want it thick like shaving foam I want it luring the dirt away without me touching it i.e. as contactless as possible we've used that much And that's it. I'll probably let that dwell for less time than normal, given the temperature. But she's doing the business. She's doing the business. So we'll start getting that off in about five minutes and just see what sort of shine we're getting. This is when you need smelly vision. How many times have people said that? Anyway, it is drying off quick. Dropping off quick. Smells wonderful, as I say. Probably could have been a bit thicker. Maybe I'll do that in another test. I'll do an update. But let's start getting that off and see what the gloss action's like. So I meant to say at the start, this isn't gonna be a full valet video. I've done that before. This is just a look at the Auto Bright palmer violet snow foam as i say i've seen mixed reviews but you know i was in halfords it's close i like trying new stuff out so let's have a look i'm trying to get as far away from the pressure washer as possible Early indications are encouraging. Let me get that off before the car dries. Get it rinsed. I'll do a shot of how it's rinsed. I'll let you know my thoughts. Hopefully you can just about see that. This is the sort of water action that we're seeing. I mean, I keep the car pretty clean. It's always got a coat on it of some description. I won't go for all the coats I use. Yeah, I tried to have the GoPro ready to, um, so I could start filming as soon as I stop the hose because it is drying fast. Anyway, so it come off okay. It's done maybe a little bit thicker and a little bit harder to remove than say, the auto glim foam that I've been using it's done a comparable job as I always stress in my videos this is 
totally contactless. So I've yet to touch the car. So there's two bucket wash coming up next. I'm not filming that. I've done that before. I've shown what that's like. This is purely about the foam. As I say, couldn't stress enough how nice it smelt. Is it a bit of a gimmick? Maybe. It's cheap enough from Halfords. It is very concentrated, I'd say. I only used that tiny top bit. And I reckon the foam could have been just a dash, a dash thicker. But I'll do that on another day. Anyway, maybe it's not entirely fair today because weirdly, it's baking. And that's the, one of the classic problems with a black car. I mean, this side in the shade is looking okay. And you're getting, you're starting to get bead. As I say, I haven't even touched the car yet. So it's feeling all right. It's looking all right. I had sort of touched the paint as it was, as I was rinsing off the foam, just to see if it had a sort of glossy feel to it, which I'm satisfied it did. And you know, that's important, you know, keeping the contactless wash principle going, not touching it, trying to just ease the, um, the dirt off without agitating anything. So two bucket wash will be an absolute cinch. Anyway, would I recommend it? Yes, yeah, worth a go. If it helps you get the kids out and washing your car on a sunny day or on a winter's day, autumn day, whatever, why not? It smells wonderful, still smells wonderful. The car's looking all right. As I say, I haven't touched it yet. For a lot of people, it'll probably be almost all right. I'm just gonna two bucket it and towel her and then we're done. Anyway, ugh, that's the only drawback. Oof, a little bit of a pain. Luckily, I've got a bucket ready. Anyhow, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope that was enjoyable and of some help to everyone. And if you're enjoying the content, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications when I put up new content, all right? Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, all the very best. See you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.